And then we have to act like we like each other this part. Hey guys, welcome back to part two of Spartan <laughs> Shut up, Chris. You can't do shit right. That's true. Fuck you, TJ. Yes, sir. <laughs> We're going to one of the vaguely racist levels already, right off the bat. Oh my god. I like, I'm like, he doesn't look like he's, it looks like he's just kind of slipping on the floor. Yeah, he's just like on ice. Oh, these guys are, um, this guy's got some accents, let's say. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm nervous now. <laughs> we can't even hear what they're saying. Oh, yeah, we actually can't hear personally. Well, I'm going to quickly put up the volume on the TV. Just, oh, let, let, let's One second. Hmm. That's a, that's a thing. <laughs> that's a, that's a, that's a voice. That's a, that's a, that's a racist. <laughs> Everyone in this level talk. We like sauce. It just sounds like what is this? This like the count from Sesame Street. <laughs> oh, it's not racist then. Ah, ah. One, two, three, the dragon egg. Ah, 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 ah. Apparently, there are some people, some like people who work on Sesame Street, who don't like to acknowledge the fact that the Count's a vampire. What the fuck else is he gonna be? He's, he's dressed like Dracula, he speaks like Bela Lugosi, he's got fucking fangs, what else is he gonna be? The zany next door neighbor, a wacky sitcom comedy in the making. Wait a minute, are you, are you asking if they've ever shown the Count killing somebody and then drinking their blood for sustenance? Yes. Sus. No, they've never done that. <laughs> oh really? We never see Elmo's parents around, I'm just saying. You know what would've let this happen? The Muppet Show would have let this happen. I think I think that might be I think that might be my favorite um, bit from any like Family Guy thing where he's just like, it's kind of a vampire, right? <laughs> yeah. Ever seen him like doing anybody in? <laughs> you all seen it? Yeah. Here. I forgot about that. I think someone blood was sustenance. No, 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 they've never done that. <laughs> that guy's got yeah. a big piece of chicken. Uh, 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 you know, again, I think Family Guy now is a fucking joke. I I was a fan of those first three seasons. Yeah. I agree with you. Back, back when the characters had character, they weren't just... Uh, back that, when the funny moments were funny. Yeah, you know, that's, <laughs> that, that's a thing that all, all sitcoms do when they go on for so many years. They'll, they'll just start... In the interest of funny, they'll, they'll sacrifice character. The Simpsons does it a lot now. Where, like, they'll, they'll have like, somebody act out of character or say something they would never say just... Or act like they would never do just for the sake of a joke. And it's like, eh, no, don't do that, maybe. Deborah! Ah, Deborah! He was always in character. This is where the comic goes, actually, in season 4, episode 13 of Everybody oh, Loves Raymond. Raymond! Raymond was always the same! <laughs> Deborah! I never want to watch that show. I just want my memory of that show to be your interpretation of Ray Romano. <laughs> then also in my mind. There's just a side segment where there's Ice Age shorts in each Everybody Loves Raymond. <laughs> where he's just, a, he's just a mammoth. Yeah, just inexplicably just in the living room. Oh, well, no, when you said that, because they, they did that on Family Guy. They had like a random fucking Scrat thing for like 10 seconds one time. Oh, it's like, uh, yeah, everybody loves Scrat. Everybody loves Scrat. Let Scrat say fuck. I'm just saying. <laughs> Let Scrat say anything. So I spoiled the dragon. Um... Ugh. Look at that chicken. That's a big chicken. With a big chicken. <laughs> what, what happened to that chicken? You don't want to know. Don't. Oh, that's where they got all those big chicken legs. <laughs> the following footage is unedited. Unfold, Fuck you. Unfortunately. You um, turn the corner and it's just a really graphic, like they're, they're pulling <laughs> apart the chicken. Just blood everywhere. Oh, the humanity. Oh, the huge manatee. <laughs> Oh, I'm getting so rich, guys. So, Chris, you, uh, you most likely would know better than, than we would, because we don't care. But, um, uh, is Spiral 3 uh, critically the, the uh, most well respected out of the original trilogy? Like, reviews at the time or among fans? Uh, both. Uh, I think reviews at the time were like, it's getting a little long in the tooth getting one of these every year, but if you like Spyro, it's good. And I think the fans, it just depends who you ask. Uh, you know, you either you either like shit like this or you don't. You know, I don't mind that. That's kind of funny, but yeah, yeah it, it, all the character stuff. It's like some people really hate Bentley the Yeti. Um, I think his little brother sucks. I think Bentley's a okay. 
but hey, okay, baby. Yeah, I don't know. Like in terms of like aesthetic and like level tropes and stuff, I vastly prefer Sparrow three to two. I think. Okay. Um, so that gives it the edge for me. I think the music in three is better, personally, uh, more memorable. I should say. Like I'm more likely to listen to Spyro three outside of the game than two. Okay. So stuff like that, like for me, it's like three and one probably vie for top spot, and then two will always be behind the other ones. Hmm. Oh, why is that? Until I change my mind again. Hmm. I don't know. I, I just don't like the opening set of levels in two that much. I think I just don't enjoy um, the atmosphere of some of them. I don't know. It's a weird thing. I can't put my finger on. The flutter jump. Oh man, we're gonna see some flutter jump action here in a second. Oh, oh shit! Look at that! Man. Look at that! Oh, oh shit! Oh, man. perfect. He didn't have to do that, but he did. He went <laughs> hard just for us. Yay! We did it. So, what does skill points do? I was about to say the same thing. Uh, if you get every skill point, you unlock the epilogue, which apparently a lot of Spyro fans don't know about. Because every time there's like an Enter the Dragonfly cutscene, the fourth one, everyone's like, "Well, why is Ripto alive? He died at the end of two. But three makes it canon." To establish that Ripto survived falling into lava. <gasps> wait, wait, so what? The, the, the epilogue is Ripto coming back to life? Uh, the epilogue is like Ripto somewhere. Don't, no, don't tell me. I didn't see it. You probably won't get to it, TJ. I had to find out for myself. I'm going to look it up online. Spyro.wikia. <laughs> oh, God. Hey, Spyro. Skateboarding section. I stole these jorts from some fucking orange bandicoot. It was pretty dope, yo. <laughs> My birthday's on the 22nd of April. <laughs> I'm going to be 45. Which is canon. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you, Chris? I'm just, I'm just speaking to Insomniac's lore. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh my god. I, 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 I remember skateboard. fucking hating this. So this is one of the things that you either like or don't like about Spyro 3. Is this shit like this. <laughs> Yeah, because I think at, at this point in time, I, I had already played Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2. I was like, fucking, this isn't a good skateboarding game. Oh I, my god, I forgot about Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2. Dude, you could be fucking Spider Man in that <laughs> game, TJ! Spider Man in that fucking game. This was my Tony Hawk, because I never played Tony <laughs> Hawk. Poor bastard. Yeah. This was my Sucked. Tony Hawk. <laughs> this is my generation's Tony you Hawk. The, you, that just makes me feel bad of your childhood. This was your Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2. No joke, I've been feeling like, like I missed out on a huge cultural moment. By never, Tony Hawk. never playing a Tony Hawk game. I I only ever played two and three. We um, should play uh, we should play Tony Hawk's Underground for uh, the channel sometime. Thug. I love that game. Do you want to play it? I'll play it. You want to play Thug Two? Tony Hawk Ride. Get the, I can, get I, the can board? I can show you guys the character I made. Oh, oh you can make a character. Yeah. It's Sonic Forces. Tony Hawk's Tony Hawk's Underground was all about like you're you're the character. <laughs> you're and, the uh, dude. And uh, like you're joining Tony Hawk's. Uh, Pro skater team. Tony Hawk's gonna train you so how to be a skater. My character was always a skeleton wearing a cat in a hat. <laughs> I fucking hate that's, you, TJ. That's probably the most ska thing you've ever I said. I hate know. you so much. <laughs> Is it? Oh man, I just really like this mental image of a cat in a hat, hat on a fucking skeleton. Yep. That's really good. Wearing sunglasses, and then like, like you're the probably the worst person I've ever met. It's one of those things where, um, you know, those memes where like there's a bunch of normal looking people, and then um, like somebody like very out of place, and it says he's the main character. When your custom character is in cutscenes, <laughs> it was always like that. <laughs> so like there's just a fucking skeleton with a cat in a hat, and it's just like it's like yo, I want to join the team. <laughs> This sounds really good. We need to do this. I love that game so much. Probably, it, probably it, makes it, more it, sense it whatever's going on here. Oh. oh man, that's Stone Hill. What systems was it on? Uh, it was on. I had it on GameCube. I had the, the both games on GameCube. There were two of them. There were two of them. The second one was pretty good too. Thug two. The second one had all the jackass people in it. All right. Oh, now we have to play it. One of the uh, one of the unlockable characters was a uh, was Phil Margera in his underwear. Can I can I kill Bam in that game? No, you can't. Are, kill are, Bam. Is Phil Bam? Phil no, Phil was Bam's dad. Who's that? Like, oh, like, was that the big guy? Yeah. Like, uh. Bam is a piece of shit. Yeah, he's not a great dude. Like as a person, I think he's just a piece of shit. I, I don't know anything about any of these people. I used to love that show, though. Jackass is fun. I, I, my no, I'm talking about Viva La Bam. Oh, no, fuck that. <laughs> no, man. That he's, show. Oh, he's that such show a piece of shit. That show killed me. 
I'm gonna stand farther away from you now, bro. I think it's starting to kick in. The best part about Jackass was when Bam got hurt. <laughs> or when like, the, the, the joke was on Bam. Like, that was my favorite. Just fuck that guy. Yeah. Did, you, did you love that part in the movie where uh, they throw him in the cage with the snake? The snake and he freaks out. <laughs> ah, it's beautiful. And my favorite part of that is when he's like, he's like, they zoom in on his face and they're like, like are you scared right now? And he goes, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah. Chris, I think there's still some gems in there you haven't got yet. He'll get them. But uh, he has to do, he has I, to, I'm focusing on the eggs first. He, he has to get all the, uh, the eggs. All the, all the uh, lizards first. Yeah, the eggs. <laughs> oh, I got a time limit. I can't wipe out or Hunter will think I'm lame. <laughs> <laughs> God, the wait, 90s wait, were great. Wait, wait, you can't? You I can't, can't wipe out this time. And you're being timed for it? And you're being timed. It's like, pick one of the other, Activision. Yeah, Hunter is warding over my baby, my youth of my species, being and like, if you don't skateboard well enough, <laughs> I'm keeping this fucking thing. <laughs> like, Hunter's on our side, he knows we need to rescue these fuckers. But nah, bro, extreme sports. God, I miss cocaine. <laughs> Where is he? Where's that little lizard? There's one on hanging up on the air. Oh, you got him. Yeah, mm. see? Isn't there one running around? Oh, there, there, there he is. On the left? <laughs> There's no shit. Kill him. Get him. Fuck you. Yeah. Genocide's cool. Holy shit. That's the theme of this game. One minute you're kind of playing genocide. <laughs> it still amazes me that one point Sonic 2 was sincerely going to have a level called Genocide yeah. City. <laughs> Oh, well, you know, like it's it's a game. It was of, a different time. It's a game of death, egg zone. I don't know. No fits. That is true, actually. Wait, wait, which game was supposed to have that? Sonic, Sonic 2. Two, Genocide City. Was supposed to be Metropolis Zone. That no, or... I think it was a different zone. Although some some people like to claim that that that's um, it's not actually true. It's like a it's like, it's like a mistranslation or something. But mm. I don't know. Shit. Oh, no, no. <gasps> Oh, this is this is tense. This is tense. Don't Will fuck I do up. it? Oh, I did it. No. Oh my god! <laughs> did he fall and fall over? That <laughs> do it again. <laughs> that doesn't count. I'm gonna go sit on this egg. Whoa, bro. that was sweet, bro. That was pretty choice. God, I fucking oh, hate wait a Hunter. Wait a minute. So, hang on a minute, guys. Well, I'm just saying, kind of, kind of a, a, a roundabout way to explain what Gareth was complaining about. Um, <laughs> Get fucked, Spyro. Hunter said that he found the egg in the lizard's burrow, so does that mean that while Spyro was distracting them, Hunter went in and got the don't, egg? Don't, don't justify Hunter's actions. <laughs> he needs help, and you're not helping him right now. Don't, just, yeah, don't, don't try and, and, and sweep Hunter's genocide under the rugs, you piece of shit. Oh, okay. You <laughs> fuck nugget. Should, well, okay. <laughs> you, Is that one of them? You dirty diaper boy. <laughs> I'm not sure because you don't unlock the Sparks look ability from Spyro 2 until late in the game in Spyro 3. That's bullshit! Yeah. You think it would have been the other way around. Where like in 2 you yeah. unlock it, in 3 you have it. Because you have all your other moves from 3 right away here. Me too. Yes. What did I say? 2. 1. Okay, let's go to Sheila and we'll see how many we got left. I don't understand how Spyro's skateboard gains <laughs> wipe out, you little twat. <laughs> just <laughs> breaks his neck, game over. <laughs> he just uh, starts sounding like Carlos again. He's I like, don't oh, understand whoa. how Spyro gains momentum when he never once like puts his feet on the ground to push forward. Um, mind power. Okay. Is the chicken back? Oh, look, the chicken's back. You get, you get unique dialogue if you respawn oh, the chicken. It's chicken boo! Chicken boo. chicken boo, what's the matter with you? You don't <laughs> act like the other chickens do. You Hope it's the sky good. to let human guide, but you're not a man, you're a chicken boo. Can you kill the chicken? Yes, no. Kill chicken boo. It's Boom. a dragon. Boom. It's a it's a it's a favorite dragon, Boom. Mr. Boo. I, I think that guy's a chicken. It's a dagron. Poe dagron? Poe the moron? <laughs> oh. Got him. Fuck, he's an idiot in that movie. <laughs> Chris, have I? Oh, wait, had, there's some right here. Have I Hello. had a chance to tell you about um, when I went and saw Jesus? The Last Jedi? Uh, no. <laughs> so, uh, have you have you seen it? Yeah. Does that part when um when Leia shoots uh, Poe, 
and uh you know with with the, with the laser gun like oh yeah him. that happened in that movie <laughs> so when she shows up there was this drunk girl sitting next to Aaron and I in the theater and when Leia shows up the girl goes oh, it's Leia and then and then she pulls the gun out and she shoots him and the girl just went what the fuck <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> like in the middle of the theater like what so the fuck? loud Hey, they say they say ass in that movie, don't they? And bastard. And bastard. I don't, I don't so, approve of that. I don't approve of that. So I don't approve someone can say fuck in the theater watching that. Let Leia say fuck. It's not game explain. They can swear. <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? I can't not. It was so funny. Mm-hmm. That's that's exactly what I thought of. That's actually really good. I like that a lot. She was she was making those type of comments before she ordered more wine, <laughs> and the waiter. Where, like, where did you see it? Saw it at um, Easton because they do um they oh. do like those. Uh, oh, you like fucking dining. Scrooge McDuck. AMC got some Price fucking fucking expensive some man. Fucking rich uh, blood over here. Um, <laughs> so like she so ordered like Patreon money keeps embezzling it. <laughs> she ordered she ordered more wine, and I was I was about to stop the waiter and be like, yeah, I don't think she needs more wine. <laughs> For you to say, TJ. Fuck every time she ordered business, more, piece of shit. every time she ordered more, she would just. Be like, it was what a, the fuck? It was a joke because she kept on like every time a character she knew appeared on screen, she tapped her boyfriend and was like, "It's Chewy." <laughs> so, like, so she was the nerd crew. Basically. No, no joke. When I when I saw it, there was a guy who clapped every time when I stepped this character came. On. I had that too. Yeah. <laughs> like opening night, definitely had some know, my on. favorite my favorite thing in a cinema ever was when. Years ago, I, I took an X to go see the first Sex and City movie. Um, and they, they made multiple movies. They made two of them, yeah. I've been, if, if we could stomach it, I'm tempted to do number two for Diminishing Returns. Whoa, it's don't so fucking it. bad. But, um, so in the first one, there's, I'm going to spot a plot. There's a plot where uh, Kerry um, hires an assistant, and at the end of it, she or I forget this fucking Eva, she orders, Kerry Eva orders for her assistant some shoes, or the assistant, or no, no. Carry all the shoes for her, the assistant because she's like she's porn. This movie and, sounds great. And, by can't, the way. and can't afford them. And there's a moment where fucking this woman in a few rows down I saw started actively crying when she was giving shoes. And I, and I was like in a in, in, in a bad in a bad stereotypical way. I was the only male in this screening. <laughs> I just wanted to stand up and go. Are you fucking serious? <laughs> Oh my god. So, kangaroo. Oh, I forgot to point out the war. Enemies are gems again. This one's pink because it's a girl. <laughs> Rapunzel in the tower. <laughs> this game's fucking great. <laughs> Wait, enemies what? are gems again? This joke, though. That's a sincerely good joke. A car was training order against him. <laughs> so, uh, Lucy Goosey. What, what do you mean, enemies are gems again? Uh, enemies give you gems instead of... Um, power-ups for the orb gates, or the power gates, like in 2. Oh, you know what? I, I kind of prefer that. I, I do not prefer you don't? that. Oh, okay. No, I, I much prefer getting gems from enemies. Yeah, yeah that's what I meant. I'm sorry. Yeah, oh, I okay, mean, yeah, I yeah. Mean, yeah, I mean, I, I prefer getting gems from enemies, because it gives you a reason to murder them all. <laughs> Jesus, fuck. <laughs> and then she broke her fucking legs. <laughs> the I'm it's just, it's, falling it's, free it's, in it's, the wind. <laughs> It's just a cartoon. She'll be fine. It's just, it's just a cartoon, flatters. right, Mom? I'm like, no one gets hurt. Gareth, I don't like this game Uncle anymore. Uncle G, I don't like this game anymore. <laughs> so, of, so of, of all of us, Chris, you're, you're more, obviously, because you're in that fucking Spiral the tr- Dragon Reddit Discord. You... I peek in there with one eye hardly open once in a while. Nerd. So the Not Safe for Work channel is gone now, so it's a lot safer. Oh, my God. <laughs> there, there, there was a Not Safe for Work thing... I hate we'll live in. The but, guy, there was, I'm sorry, this is a tangent and also making fun of a community, but I think everyone would be fine with it. They were having a discussion like, should we keep this or should we get rid of this? And the one guy being like, oh, keep it here. He had a Vor profile picture on Discord. He did what? He had a Vor profile picture on Discord. What's that mean? I don't know. What, what, That's what? the eat fetish where like, you eat people. Yeah. And he's like, oh, now i got to go to another server. <laughs> Ugh. Yes. Then he so left the server. So now I have to go to another spiral Reddit server. <laughs> Oh, this, you mean this one doesn't have enough safe for work channel anymore? You're missing one. I know. This is my <laughs> you know, favorite part of any Kleptathon platformer. Half tempted to say fuck it and move on. No, keep, keep going. Keep going. Find it and, and then we'll call it a day for this part. Because we're almost at... 20 minutes! 20 minutes! <laughs> oh. You know that anxiety you get when, like, you have your ringtone set? And no, it's you... 20 minutes! We're trying! We're trying! <laughs> 
And then you hear that ringtone somewhere else. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh, but you turn this... I mean? Okay, I'm... Look, look you at, turn this poor boy look, into a monster. Look at us stopping Martin TJ to be in these things. He's, Where's John at? He doesn't act. Seat. He doesn't act like a fucking normal person. <laughs> Someone like John at what? Just starts... He just starts trashing my house. 20 minutes! Christopher wakes my son up. 20 fucking minutes! And she's like, 20 minutes? <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, I bet it's such a skateboarder. Yeah. <laughs> you want to talk to me when I don't do it? Wake <laughs> <minutes? laughs> up your fucking mind. <laughs> Wake up, she put me 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> he goes from food with a gentle breeze. <laughs> Guys, we got to find this last gem. I've been waiting 20 minutes for that. I set the timer and I was just like, yes. <laughs> yes. Fucking nerd. Oh, hey, I found it. Let's get the hell out of here. Hey. Give up? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Join us next time on Sparrow the Dragon 3, not featuring TJ.